Nezuko is the only survivor of the brutal attack that left every other member of the Kamado family dead. Though physically unharmed, she was unfortunately turned into a demon. However, in an anime universe where the sun can destroy demons on contact, Nezuko eventually finds a way to avoid this tragic fate. In this video, we'll dig into the lore of Demon Slayer to see if we can identify how Nezuko managed to become immune to the sun. If you clicked on this video, you already know that Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba is one of the most popular and critically acclaimed manga and anime series ever made. In fact, it's proved so successful throughout its different iterations that some experts are already declaring it as one of the highest growing media franchises of all time. Much of this popularity is due to the multifaceted storyline, which cover themes ranging from supernatural battles between good and evil to a brother's love for his afflicted sister. But as we've already mentioned, Nezuko is not the same as the other demons in this universe. Specifically, she seems immune to the sun given the last episode of season 3. First, let's consider Nezuko Kamado as a character. Specifically, Nezuko was created to make her brother Tanjiro's character more complex. Because his sister lives as a demon against her will, Tanjiro can't truly bring himself to hate the demons he is fighting. This muddies some of the morality of the book and makes for far more interesting character dynamics. It's also important to remember that Muzan Kibutsuji, the strongest of the demons and the show's primary antagonist, has been trying to solve the sun problem for ages. The fact that his brutal attack on the Kamado family would eventually result in a sun-resistant demon is just good writing. And while it's true that the creators never come right out and say why they decided to have Nezuko gain immunity to the sun, there are plenty of clues hinting that this is precisely what they intended to happen all along. Let's take a look. Remember that Nezuko isn't immune to the sun at first. For most of the early series, her brother Tanjiro carries her around in a basket. This is made possible because of her ability to rapidly shrink and grow at will. Next, we need to consider the fact that Nezuko's entire existence hints at her being a very special person. While Tanjiro is definitely the protagonist of Demon Slayer, we are constantly given glimpses that Nezuko has a big role to play in the series. For instance, she was in the process of being turned into a demon when Tanjiro finds her, did her being left in a transition state contribute to her ability to fight off the sun's effects? How about the fact that she retains many of her human traits? Unlike the other demons in the series, she never attacks humans and perhaps most importantly, never eats human flesh. Instead, she learns to regenerate her powers through sleep so that she can avoid ever having to hurt anyone. Another major hint that Nezuko would not be your average demon is that she comes from a family of sun-breathing users, a technique they refer to as Hinokami Kagura. It seems that the series creators were throwing out a pretty big easter egg for us regarding Nezuko's relationship to the sun and how it would progress along with the series. So far, we have a character who has not fully turned into a demon, does not behave like a demon, and has a unique lineage that hints she is not entirely what she seems. Now let's move on to the big reveal. Warning, spoilers ahead. During the Swordsmith Village arc, Nezuko does battle with Hantengu. Because he proves to be such a difficult opponent, the fight continues through the night and into sunrise. It seemed at the time that she might actually sacrifice herself so that her brother could kill Hantengu. But as the sun comes up, Nezuko only burns for a short time before starting to regenerate. When this happens, the other characters refer to it as her conquering the sun. Let's think about that for a minute. Is that not the perfect way to reinvigorate Nezuko's character arc? At the beginning, she seems like a victim who needs to be protected. However, as her story progresses, she becomes becomes more and more powerful and capable. She becomes a demon slayer in her own right, and in a very poignant way, she also learns to slay some of the demons inside of herself. While we may only get hints as to why exactly Nezuko was able to resist the sun, the fact that she does is a logical and powerful turning point for a character, and that's what good stories are all about. Now, that's about it for this video. I know it was much shorter, but I thought I would delve a little into explaining possible reasonings for why Nezuko could resist the sun given the ending of the last Demon Slayer season. I will be releasing more videos soon regarding Demon Slayer, so please stay tuned and take care.